On well and travel. We see the world from where the rubber meets the road. The rubber of our running shoes, bike tires, and hiking boots. And we bring home the gold, the good stuff. Tales of adventure and the human spirit, alive and well in the people we meet. I'm Kim. And I'm Dana. Come along on our next adventure, whatever it may be. Wherever it may be. Well and Traveled, coming up next. I'm Dana. And I'm Kim. We're sisters who live an active lifestyle and love to travel. No, 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 no. She got no, you done. done. You we got it upside down, even. And this week on our show, Well and Traveled, we're in Paris to run the Paris Marathon and to explore the City of Lights. Everybody loves Paris, and we're going to show you why. Oh my God, that feels oh, creepy, doesn't it? Oh, excuse me, moi. Mm -hmm. I like it. We all have to have sweat equity in our health. That's what Well and Traveled is all about, finding a way to make that fun and finding a way to have sweat equity in your health mind, body, and spirit. After four months of training and many fun post-run coffees to plan this trip, seven of us are finally here to run the Paris Marathon. Our friend Renee found us the most incredible apartment. Talk about a room with a view. We all go out to the specialty shops in our neighborhood and pick up something to bring back for dinner at night. <laughs> <laughs> We found our way onto this uh, unofficial Facebook page. It had people from all over the world that are descending upon Paris to run this Paris Marathon. We're meeting under the Arc de Triomphe and we're having dinner after the marathon so that we can hear about everyone's experience. We set out to explore Paris, figuring out the subway, long walks, boat taxis, and of course that 26.2 mile run. Hemingway was right. Paris is a movable feast. Its culture, its history, its art, its food, and its people. Are you going to light a candle for yes. a marathon blessing? Notre Dame is a pretty good place to do it. 40,000 people at the starting line, and they all have their own individual reasons for why they're here. We all are at the same place, going to do the same thing, but there's a different motivation for each of us being there. That is the human spirit personified there on a starting line. See you guys at the Eiffel Tower! What's it like at mile 20? Well, I have started using that as an analogy in my everyday life. I'll say we're at mile 20. What that means is you have to dig deep and it's gonna take everything you've got to get to the finish line. Welcome to the finish line. Bueno, bueno, Juanqui Maratone, Verde. All crossed the finish line and so we knew a celebration was in order. We had everything we needed, our medals, our finisher shirts, a bottle of cold champagne and a sparkly Eiffel Tower out the apartment window.